Good morning, good afternoon, good night, everybody. We're at Disney Springs, just enjoying the beautiful weather. Hey, Kev. We're back. <laughs> are I'm you so excited, excited today? Thank you for coming wow. to Disney Springs with me. Oh, are you kidding he me? He wanted shopping to go to Epcot. Food? Yeah. Well, I have a friend at Epcot, but shopping and food, <laughs> count me in, soldier. <laughs> hey, I thought of you today. Woo. Did it feel good for me to invite you to Springs today? Sure, how do you answer that? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's gonna play into the video. I have a story. I invited, okay, <laughs> all right, that's fine. Making our way into Disney Springs today, we have like a Hulu on Disney Plus stand. That's fun, Hulu. You know Disney's trying really hard to get Disney Plus into a better spot, and I think it's still doing good. They're adding like higher subscriptions or subscriptions with ads so it's cheaper. I got the Golden Girls. I've never seen the show before. This is my favorite one. I don't Have you ever say... seen the show before? No, but it's not school desks, so <laughs> this is better. Yeah, it's like a flying table. I've never seen the show, so I don't actually know. But anyway, if you fill out a survey or take a picture with this booth, you get a button. Wait, this is actually dope. These are actual Disney pins. We got them for free. If y'all have been keeping up with the vlogs recently, I want to make sure I prioritize both my mental and my physical. And you were working out the other day. You oh, okay, yeah. buddy? What happened? No, I hurt my back really, really bad. I was doing deadlifts. Ah, I guess I was doing it wrong. Yeah. So if any of you guys know how to properly do a left deadlift, like, please, like, <laughs> in the send comments. Me, yeah, send me a DM with like a link <laughs> to the YouTube video on how to do it. Cause I can't do one. I've messed up deadlifts a lot. Oh my god, my back is killing me. I I'm took sorry. some Advil though, so oh, okay. I'm good to walk, and I'm trying to like get some stretching and exercise. Is there anything else we can do to make your back feel better while we're in Disney um, Springs? You know, maybe some like. Numbing margarita. Oh! Yeah, I think a numbing margarita. I like that. It's a beautiful day for a margarita. If we're getting margaritas though, yeah. you gotta do something in return for me. <laughs> it's all about, you know, working <laughs> with the person. Do you know do you know what I'm gonna say? <laughs> no, I'm scared actually. I invited you here not only for your, you know, friendship and me making you feel better, I also have my own personal gain from inviting you out here. Yeah. Because that's how sometimes invites work. Even if it's your best friends. Oysters. You're gonna make me try oysters? I'm gonna make, you've never had an oyster before, right? No, I don't like seafood. I'm not gonna, I'm Just not. Just one slurp. I'm not, no, one Jojo. slurp, one slurp, brother. One slurp, brother. He said it. Anyway, let's get margaritas. We'll get your mind off of it. And then we'll get oysters. Awful. I thought we were going to get margaritas. Why are we in Uniqlo? Because we're shopping. We're shopping? Yeah. I didn't sign up for this. Does the vlog think these are cute? Chat. <laughs> what do you think, chat? <laughs> no, they're too baggy. I like the Disney stuff in this story. <laughs> these shirts are so freaking pretty. What the heck? I love Steamboat Willie. Yeah, that that's fire. Simple and clean. That looks good. And I think it's not it's only 25 bucks. I mean I've seen worse like expensed shirts. Better than any Disney <laughs> Better than any Disney shirt for sure. Do you know what this is? No, but I love it. I'm happy to say we're actually stopping at Dockside Margaritas today. I haven't been here in a minute. I see it all the time and I always want to get a drink, but today we're actually getting a drink. One thing about these drinks is they're expensive. That's why I don't come here too often, but it's definitely worth it. They're, they're good. We have a lot of different options. Wow, this view, amazing. I've never sat here before, you know that? I know. This is great. The random chairs we just found, but they're pretty nice. The lounge that we wanted to go to next to the bar, it was full. I felt like we were, nah, weren't cool enough to be there, but anyway. Uh, I got a spicy margarita. If you guys haven't listened to the song Spicy Margarita by uh, Michael Bublé and Jason Derulo, go listen to it. It's fun. Maybe you're I'll put a little snippet in. Margarita. Hey, you're my spicy margarita, babe. Burn my tongue, make me shake. It's good. Go. It makes me lit. It makes me want to go out and party. What you get? I got the Añejo Select Margarita, and it is so good. Yeah, I will say these are very like, strong. Strong. Uh, expensive, but worth it. Oh, Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. And I got a spicy margarita, and it, it's not like spicy when you first start drinking it. It has a spicy finish, which honestly, for people who don't necessarily like spicy, it's good. It's, it's not overbearing. How do you drink out of straws? Oh, you go like that? Yeah, why? What do you do? I like... Oh, what the heck? You curl your lips? I curl in, you curl out. I curl... Uh -huh. Yeah, like... You go like... Yeah, I, I put my lips over it. Why do you? What? If you watch the Top Golf podcast, we like get really into it. I just. 
I think what you do is <laughs> I think what you do is not normal. No, I try. I've been trying to like. But I. Oh, that's weird. That's an ick. Kevin just got an ick from me. What? <laughs> Rainforest Cafe. I've actually eaten here once. I didn't vlog it. Went with friends. I've never been to the Lava Lounge. I feel like it might be a cool date spot one of these days. Not sure though. I always appreciate this shop swirls on the water. They always have fun Dole Whip flavors. Right now, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what this is. Hold up. Oh, yikes. I haven't updated the menu in a while. It's a St. Patrick's Day cone. That already happened. That happened a while ago. But I do like how you can try three different flavors. They're always switching things out. Always making new friends. What's your name? Clint. And? Bernadette. You guys have a good day? Yes. I mean, fantastic day. especially and after got, this. And we got pineapple Dole Whip. Yeah. Hey, that's awesome that you can get it here. I don't think I people know. realize you can get Dole Whip at spring sometimes. I love it. It's yeah, so well, fantastic. enjoy. Thank you. Before it melts. Pleasure meeting you. Yeah, nice meeting you too. Have a good day. It's actually really funny that Kevin is here today because I was planning on coming alone. But this brings up a good topic that I've been, it's been on my mind for a minute. Being invited to places. Now, that seems very generic. You're probably like, what the heck? But that's yeah, what I was talking about earlier. Have you ever been not invited to something that you were kind of hurt by? Oh, yeah. Duh, everybody has. Exactly. I, again, with my vlogs, especially if I'm not doing anything like crazy related to the theme parks, I like kind of bringing it back. I'm talking about mental health, different things, different different problems that people face each and every single day. Not feeling wanted, not feeling invited. And I think we all feel that in different ways. And someone like me as well, I think one thing recently I've been struggling with, media invites. Not in the sense that like I feel entitled to get them, just that I love the Orlando community, I love the theme parks, like Disney recently just did a whole Star Wars media event in Disneyland and Disney World, and no shade to them. I, I, I'm not saying I don't necessarily even want to go to that, but when you're not invited to something, you start questioning yourself, and you start kind of asking yourself, am I worth it? And my answer to that is yes. So it doesn't matter if you're in high school and you didn't get invited to a cool like after party, or you know, if you didn't get invited to a media event like me, or some friends forgot to invite you to a wedding. I think we all experience not being invited, and I think we're scared to be rejected at the end of the day. And all I wanna say is, it's okay. I think it's important to create your own environments. That's why I invited Kevin to come with uh, me to Springs today, to have some fun, and kind of appreciate the people who appreciate you. You know, if they wanted to, they would, kind of and I thought about this because someone made a comment they're like hey why didn't you get a epic universal medallion thing you know that, that little PR package everyone. yeah and I was like I, I don't know and if you try to figure out why it could drive you crazy I mean I'm sure you try to figure out why like someone doesn't mess with you or why you weren't invited to a, a function yeah you probably don't get invited to a lot of things don't you what I'm joking <laughs> you didn't get invited to top golf so oh I didn't yeah. I didn't get invited to top golf anyway I want to go a little more into that, but again, I just want to uh, clarify, not mad at Universal, not mad at Disney. You never know what people's reasonings are. You never know like what someone's thinking or not thinking, but I'll continue that story in a second. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten. We're getting oysters. Bro, they're ready to watch me throw up on camera. Bro, they're expensive, so like... This is, a, this is a gift. I mean, being invited also feels nice too, though, right? Like, let's be yeah, honest. Like, being invited, yeah, yeah. Don't I feel... wish I would have known there was a catch was with me eating this disgusting thing, but... Yeah, sometimes when you get invited to things, people have ulterior motives. Not always. But I'm just saying, there's a lot of different dynamics and situations. At the end of the day, just be yourself. Be grateful for the things that you do get to experience. Because if you're focused on what you're not doing, you can't focus on what's right in front of you. Like oysters! Yeah. I've been wanting to go to this place for so freaking long. Now you can get a reservation or you can do the walk up oyster bar which is right here. There's a bar in the back. We're gonna try to find a place at the bar, oyster bar. Look at these yummy oysters. Yes sir. I mean I think looking at them might freak you out a little bit more so maybe don't look at them. Yeah, no. Don't worry, man. I'll set you up right. I know the good oysters. Boathouse is a very popular restaurant. It makes a ton of money. Oh, I, uh, actually, what the heck? What's going on over here? I've never seen that boat. Anywho, uh, we're headed over to the Dockside Bar because you don't need a reservation for this place. It's definitely more of a vibe. I like it. People are just here to drink, get some light bites, and I'm pretty sure I got some friends over here right now. Kevin is learning about oysters. 
Come on, like, aren't you kind of like intrigued? There's so many different flavors, so many different sizes. No, it's a whole all. science, brother. I will no. say though, they don't have the Lucky Ducks here, but the seat that we got is absolutely stunning. Come on, this is so this nice. Bar, yeah. Like, I feel like we're by the beach right now. I can't throw up here. It's too breezy. Yeah. You know? Look at this view. It's so nice. It's so nice. We got some lovely bartenders helping us out today. Hey, buddy. <laughs> good to see you, Jason. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Aren't you glad I invited you today? So glad, so glad to try oysters. I'm actually nervous to try these. Kevin got the duck duck raz. So cute. I haven't had that drink in a while. It's very sweet and strong. Something that Kevin personally likes. I love it. And then I just got the beer. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. I said, make sure you credit me for that drink and I'll taste it. Alright, I'll credit you. Oh my gosh, Kevin with the photography I know, skills. What? It literally, I just went, could you do it real quick? Killing like, it. They didn't even think about Go it. Go follow Kevin. Wow. And especially because he's about to I'm eat about to some post oysters. It. Oh. <laughs> the music selection out here is so good. It's awesome. a vibe, brother. Alright, try your little duck duck raz. Right. I don't know how to do this. Personally, I didn't necessarily enjoy it the time I had it. Oh, oh, strong? It's really sweet, but it's so good. Oh my god. Kevin, are you fangirling right now? I am. I've been watching your videos since I was literally like six or seven. Oh, I love that. I love that. Yeah. We got Coaster like Force that. here. What's up, man? Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, hanging out. We were thinking about going to Germany together. You know, you did invite me out. We're talking yeah. about invites today. Hey, hey, we're going back though. Yeah, soon. We're going back. Yeah, I'm down. Ride, Listen, I fun. will go with you, Scott. Yeah. I will go with you. I mean, I, I made a mistake. I uh, accidentally, oops, bought an annual pass to Europa Park. So now I have to go back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, whoops. That's oh so funny God. you know him. Yeah. yeah no, Kevin, if you guys didn't know, he's, I think you know, but he's a big coaster fan. Yeah. So. Wait, so a question for you then. What's your favorite coaster in Orlando? In Orlando, Velasta Coaster. Yeah, I agree. I would say Orlando, but not Florida. Florida, Iron Glossy. Oh! No! By this much! Uh, by this no! Much. By this much. <laughs> I, I get off Iron Glossy and I'm like, ooh! <sighs> so, yeah. if it's your first time, that's actually being picked come into play, okay? So, you start with the first one, then go on to the next, and the next, and then go back around. That'd be my suggestion. I think I'm just gonna go for one. But yeah, uh, okay. yeah, we'll see. Thanks, Mike. When I first started working here, I did not eat oysters at all, and they maybe eat them without any crackers or anything. Okay, so just embrace it. It's a little taste of the Yes, ocean. Mike. Yes, Mike. See, we're getting hype. They're in the oyster club now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna help you out. So Kevin's gonna try the. Foxy River one, which is small size, heavy meats with a fresh ocean taste and a smooth finish. Now, Kevin, I'm gonna do this for you to help you. We're gonna to get some of the vinegar here. Yeah. We're gonna just, we're just gonna. No, 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 I said this one. It's the same thing. No, this oh, one's you smaller. want a smaller one? Okay. And do that. We're gonna get a little bit of this lemon. Squeeze. Okay. There you go. It's prepared for you. How now, do I, I, literally... I will show you. You can watch me first. In the past, I would use a fork, but I, I realized the best way to get the flavor is just to do a little slurpy slurp. There you go. And... What did you bite? That was crunchy. Nothing. I didn't bite anything. I just slurped the whole thing. Oh. Just a, and that's it. And that's all it is. I think I like oysters because it has so much flavor, but at the same time, it doesn't really fill up your stomach, you know? It's like, you know, I don't know, like, I feel like I didn't eat anything right there, so. Thank you. Yeah. Just grab it. And just Let's slurp? Go. Yeah, just slurp. Take it, one hand. Yep. There you go. And you got you want that liquid in there too. It's all part of it. Just slurp it. Go. Slurp. Swallow it. Oh that wasn't that bad. Yeah. Great. That was kind of good. I kind of like that actually. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm so. I can't believe it. That was actually good. Whoa. You look like you had so much pain. You're so scared. I saw the fear in your eyes when you were slurping. Well, I didn't know where the oyster went because I slurped it and then I didn't feel it anywhere. It wasn't until I closed my mouth that I was like, oh, it's still on my tongue. Let me get it out. But it tasted really good. I think the vinegar did also help a lot. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the point. I don't think. 
people just enjoy. Like it's all about the seasoning, it's all about the sauces around yeah. it. You wanna try another one? Oh, oh, oh! I'll try it. So we've been eating oysters. I got another dozen or half dozen. Kevin, why are you so excited right now? Because we got the rolls. We got the boathouse rolls. Oh. Do you like the boathouse rolls? Do I like them? I love them. I love them. Oh, hey, wow. man, after eating an oyster, you deserve this. Ooh. This is true. The whole thing is mine. You can order your own. Off uh, for me. Oh. Oh, the espresso martini's hidden. Ow, my back. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you enjoy, one, the oyster? No, but... I, I don't no? Think, it was good. It wasn't bad. It wasn't... It wasn't as scary as you thought it was going to be? It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It tasted very vinegary, so I think it's just the, the thing that I put on top of it, so it wasn't that bad. What else did I enjoy? The drinks? Oh my god. God, did I enjoy the drinks. <laughs> So Delicious. overall, Bowhouse, did you enjoy it today? Oh yeah, 10 out of 10. I love this place. Um, a big shout out to Bowhouse. They did something yeah. really kind. I know. They they covered a lot of our meal. We're not we gonna get it back. Yeah, we, we, we back. tipped them back, at, but just the kindness that they showed us is insane. We made our own media event, you know? You know, you know what I'm saying? You, but you know <laughs> no, we did though. Yeah, they were awesome. I loved Guys, I really, really suggest Bow House. Yeah. Even before they helped me out today with the bill, I've always had a good time here. It's 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 good. There's a lot of food there. I love it. Yeah, it was it was great. And also no shade of Disney. I'm not mad that Disney doesn't invite me to stuff. They've given me so many opportunities in the past I I love them At least regardless. You're not banned, though. Oh. At least we can stand here. guys think should I get these I these are literally the exact same ones I'm wearing but I always only have one pair I feel like I need another pair and white just I mean my butt's gonna get wet and dirty but I really like the color hey man I love Lulu I say you get it yes yes I don't know how we ended up in Lulu though <laughs> I don't know why that's fair I can't believe we're shopping right now I only go shopping with Krista this is this is different for me but hey it is what it is oh, oh. Kevin, you're not dancing? I was looking for you. Where'd you go? Wait, I love this song. This is the Colombia Mi Encanto song. Oh, really? Yeah, the Little Manuel Oh, Oh my gosh, everyone's just dancing today. If my back were messed up. I would be in there with them. They're doing it. Hey, yeah. I love them. They're killing They're it. Killing They're killing them. them. Anyway, Kevin, it's been a fun day. So. And I get. What? What? What's wrong? I do. Like, you're talking about invitations and getting invited. Yeah, yeah. I did just get invited somewhere. And if you'd like to, I want to extend that invitation to you. Really? Okay. Yeah. I have my cousin, one of my best friends, one of the closest people to me ever from Miami is at Epcot right now and asked me to go. Hey man, you don't got to convince me to go to Epcot, I'm down. Sometimes you might not get invited to things. Sometimes you are invited to things. Sometimes you are invited to things for the wrong reasons. And then, you know, if you just are enjoying the moment, sometimes random things happen. Kevin's inviting me to Epcot. I actually truly was not planning to go to Epcot, but I love doing things off the cuff, you feel me? Anyway, point is, is that when it comes to uh, feeling included, not even invited, just feeling like you're wanted there, the right people will make you feel wanted. They gotta fix the escalator. It's making a weird clacking noise at the bottom. Bro, I was trying to have an emotional moment oh. and you're talking about escalators. Well, my engineer brain kicked in and that was... See, listen to it up here. Yeah, I hear it. It's not, it doesn't sound too great. Yeah, no, something's grinding. That's not okay. That's, that's not the vibe. Anyway. Regardless, anyways. If someone's making you feel unwanted, then you probably shouldn't put your energy into there. Right, Kevin? Cut it. 
Cut it. Oh, yikes. Who said, was that Future? Who said it? Who said yeah, that song? Yeah, like, Cut it. Uh. So, my cousin that we're meeting just said that her and her friends' vibe is down. That's they're, weird. They're in right, Disney. They're at Disney. They're at Epcot. They don't come here as often as we do. So, I think it's up to us to make sure the vibes come up. Jojo? Yes, sir. You up for it? I, hey, man. I mean, we're walking into Epcot. It's a beautiful evening. Wait, this is exit only. Oh. 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 <laughs> that kind of killed the vibes, but it's okay. No. We'll keep it going. I mean, at the end of the day, we weren't expecting this to happen, and no, we're having we a good day, right? Yeah, we've had such an amazing day. I was playing Fortnite earlier, and I did not expect this. Oh, hello. <laughs> but you guys are kind of seeing a day in my life when I'm trying to make fun and create content at the same time. So we just ran to Kevin's friends. There's a bunch I of them. Know. They're going on There's Guardians. So we might meet them later. I can understand yeah. why they might be tired because they had children with them. Yeah, they had a bunch of kids. But, yeah. I mean, we made some new friends. So Always. It's okay. What's your name, buddy? Matias. Uh, where are you from? Canada, Ontario, Toronto. And are you having a good time? Yes. I love that. And I love your shirt. I have the same shirt, actually. So. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for saying hi, brother. At like 7.20, the Citrus Blossom event area is completely dead. <laughs> Maybe this what happens when like the hype of the event fades. But I kind of like it like this. I kind of like it with no one here. I mean, if I want to get a drink, there's no line. And I think I'm going to take advantage of this. Yeah, let's go to beer flight. Beer flight, yeah. I'm surprised you insisted. Do you like beer? No, well, so I don't like beer, but I do like Blue Moon. And I'm guessing since these are from the Citrus Blossom, yeah, orange. they're gonna be citrusy. Yeah. Let's see what we got. What do we have? Southern Tier Brewing Company, Orange Twist Imperial Ale, Left Hand Brewing, Drop Shandy, and then an IPA. I just don't know which direction. If I think it, it's left to right. If it came from this way, do you think it's left to right? Yeah. All right, well, uh, go ahead, try one. Let, I'm trying it first. Well, yeah, yeah, I think, I have a feeling that the ale might be that one. Cheers to friends and being invited. And sometimes when you get invited, things don't work out. Oh, is that the IPA? That's the IPA. Oh, okay. I'll come up with my rankings. I won't tell you what they are, and then you come up with your own. Fair Let's enough, fair we enough. Think. We got the drop shandy here. I have my thoughts on these, so I want to see what you have to say. All right, all right, so I feel like this might be the ale. Okay. Definitely has a kick to it. I like the aroma of that one. I'm not too sure. We got the drop shandy, I believe. The only one that makes sense is the middle one. What? <laughs> They're not bad. They They're not have, great. <laughs> they definitely have some very unique orange flavors. Like that almost tastes like orange soda, which I was hoping for something a little sweet. I was hoping for like a blue moon. None of these are really hitting that right now. Oh yeah. Oh. That's something Dan would like. That's an IPA. Okay, I'll give you my rankings right now. Last one, third IPA. Honestly, second one, middle, first one is that. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, none of these really uh, wet my whistle in the way I like, you feel me? Um, Kevin's gonna have to help me finish these, but. Yeah, no, definitely uh, three, two, one, and. And one's not even. No, they're not great. Not <laughs> I didn't like any great. of them. Dang, no wonder there was no line for these beers. Holy freaking moly, everybody. I, I don't know, this, you guys actually might be seeing how beautiful this looks IRL in real life right now. The camera might actually be doing this justice. This looks beautiful. I mean, these are the moments that I, I, I just stare out and look at Disney and like my life and I just, it makes me so grateful. And again, today wasn't really meant to be anything. And the fact that we're here right now just goes to show that you can be bitter about, you know, not being invited or not hanging out with the people you want to hang out with. But at the end of the day, there are people who want to be with you. And those are the people you have to turn to when you feel down, so. <laughs> We're in the middle of flower and garden. I didn't notice these topiaries before. Just like simple Mickey ears. It is always a good day when there's a short line for the margarita stand outside. Their seasonal drink right now is Olala oh or Olalo. Oh Fresh margarita. This is probably my favorite table in all of Mexico right after the bar. How do you handle situations where people want you, don't want you? Just so spill your truth. Everybody wants to be included in something, wants to be wants to be like they want to feel like they're a part of something right so there is no reason to leave anybody out ever and if there is then you should probably reevaluate either your friendship or your relationship with that person and just communicate with them and let them know like hey 
you know, this isn't working out for me, whatever it may be. When I'm not included, I throw a tantrum and make <laughs> myself included. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, when I'm not included, I mean, you know, you just kind of... Evaluate where you are, your yeah, standings. You, you look at you look at what's going on, who's there, and why you're not invited. And there might be a reason why you're not invited. Maybe it wanted to, they, whoever it may be, may, wanted it to be a more private thing, or maybe just in general, they don't want your vibe there all the time. Like I'm a very outgoing and a very out there person. Maybe someone doesn't always want that energy and wants something more mellow. So I don't take offense to it. You just gotta yeah. evaluate your friendships and see where you're at with people. I th yeah, I think the best thing to do is to not take it personally, exactly. keep communication open. And if it doesn't work out, there are plenty of people in the sea. There's plenty of things to do with the people who do care about you. There's how many billions of people in the world? Yeah, I don't know. Eight billion. You'll find the friends that want to include you in stuff. You're not alone, right? Like, even if you might feel you're alone in this world, you're never alone. You're never alone. Never alone. And to that, I can cheers say cheers. To never alone. Always making new friends. What's your names, guys? I am Doug Mihal. This is Kayla Mihal. And it's your first time in Disney ever. Are sure you having is. a good time? Fantastic time. Lovely. Now, do you want to shout your son? Hi, Parker. <laughs> Parker, your parents are on YouTube. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, go see the plants. Go have fun. Nice talking to you guys. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Thank you. Nice meeting you guys. More friends. Now, this is crazy because we went to the same high school. Notre Dame High School, class of 96. JoJo's class of 2014. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> You literally name dropped a teacher that I know. I know. And that Giant blew my mind. Marco, awesome. Daughter Chelsea is a Disney cast member on the cruise boats. Wow. So, yeah, we're having a good old time. Awesome. Well, good to see you, man. I'm so, glad we ran into you. each other. All right. So we said we were going to meet my cousins here. So we finally met them. So this is Rachel and Brian. Hi. Hey, guys. How are you? Did you have a good day? We had a great day. And it was a full day. A full day. Woke up at 6. That's and crazy. With kids, too. With kids. That's wild. Not but ours. hey. Not ours. <laughs> Not ours. The ears look good. Thank you. Where did you get those? Amazon. Alright, what was your favorite part of the day? The, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Right? Yes, sir. What was the song that you got? Um, it went burn, baby. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> Disco Inferno, burn, yeah. Burn. Have a good night. <laughs> ah, Epcot. That is true love right there. Technically, you're not a, allowed to wear helmets in the park, but I, hey man, live your life. Stormtroopers are okay. Stormtroopers are okay. Come on. Well, everyone made it back home safe and sound. The point of this video was just to remind you guys that you are loved, you are valued, and people, you know, appreciate you. And if you don't get those feelings from any specific relationship, whether that be work or your friends or anything specific to you, maybe you should reevaluate that situation. Remember, every day is a blessed day to be alive. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.